I think I'm buying my dream car today. <laughs> I've never owned a car in my life guys. This is literally going to be my first car that I've ever owned that I've ever bought Jayco has his own car. This is his car guys. It's a what is it called babe? Camaro. It's Chevy a Camaro. Camaro He bought it when you were how old? Senior, senior junior? I bought it my senior year of high school. I worked really hard for my down payment My mom told me she was like you can get any car you want I just you need to save up and I was like, okay, how much? And she said, 10,000. And so all of high school, I was just saving up, saving up, working, 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 mowing lawns, fixing houses. And then uh, finally by my senior year, I gathered up the 10,000. My mom took me to go see the car that I wanted, which was this one. I fell in love with it and I got it. That day I drove home with my dream car, which was this one. Yeah, guys, I never was able to do that because when I was in middle school, my family and I got into a really traumatic car accident that almost killed my little sister. And since I saw that happening, my mom and my dad, like, they were pretty fine, but my sister, like, she was unconscious and I really was scared and I started screaming for her name. It was really traumatic. So after that, I told myself I was never going to drive ever again and that I never wanted to get a car, like, ever, ever, ever. Obviously, I always had in mind, like, I really wanted a Jeep. That was my dream car for a while, but I knew that I was never going to be a, able to achieve it because of my fear of driving luckily i got over that fear um back in 2020 i think or 2021 nothing was 2020 and mm. then i got my license which was like a big deal for me because guys like when i tell you it was like a real like fear like i obviously when you go through something traumatic you have fear right so that was something with me but thankfully i was able to break that off of myself get my license but even though i got my license i never bought myself a car because i was always broke i never had a stable job to be able to save up money for a car so now that i'm able to do this is really a blessing and i'm thankful for my husband that he's helping me out i don't want to say what car i'm getting yet but it's it's gonna be pretty nice guys I, i'm i'm really blessed and really thankful i'm low-key nervous my stomach hurts but it's it's exciting. How did you feel when you got your first car, babe? Exactly how you're feeling right now. I think you can relate it to this. Like before you go to a dance competition, you know how you get like those nervous, yes, like, uh, anxious, uh, yeah, butterflies, uh huh, like that. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, my stomach low key. I'm not gonna lie, guys. My stomach has been growling, and I've been kind of like holding in some. <laughs> holding in. <laughs> Don't be lying to them now. <laughs> You've been letting them out. I've there. been nervously. I've been peeping and smelling. I've been nervously just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I've never owned a car in my life. This is actually crazy. Like, I am 24 years old, and it's okay. I feel like this proves to people that you don't need to have, like, a, a set day. Like, when you need a heavy license, when you need to be married, when you need to buy your first car, when you need to have your first house. Like, you have your own path you go through it and it's okay you don't compare yourself to other people because you never know what they're going through like me i was traumatized because i never got my license because of the accident when i was um 12 years old and yeah i just never wanted to drive but now i'm 24 have my license i'm able to afford it and i'm gonna feel confident driving ah! i'm so excited okay guys we'll meet you guys inside all right guys we made it inside literally this is, this is insane that is Jayco's dream car over there. It's a Lambo Urus. Crazy. Beautiful. What do you think about them, babe? Beautiful, beautiful cars. Yeah, it's literally insane, guys. I'm in love with this one, right? Yeah, this one is crazy, though. Sheesh. I gotta be a billionaire before I buy a Lambo. <laughs> I gotta make sure my mom's taken care of, my brother, my dad, my stepdad, my stepmom, Peluche, my friends. And that's it. Oh, and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. <laughs> I didn't think about it until you kept going. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're just been <laughs> Tell them how it's like freezing outside. Guys, there's, there's ice on the car. There's literal ice, like ice, like just hanging like on the cars. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys so you guys can see the ice. <gasps> you guys, you guys can see, look how the ice is. Guys, it's literally so cold here in Houston. Guys, look. Oh, that's so cold. Guys, we just saw the car and it's beautiful. We're thinking it's the one. Although it's gonna be my car, I really love that Jake was putting his input in it because at first I really wanted an all white one, right? And then we saw the black ones and we're like, wait, 
this lace. Uh, this lace. You got too many details. Oh yeah, sorry, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna see it on the thumbnail. But yeah, not too many details. But although it's gonna be my car, it's going to be eventually be converted to our family car. So I wanted to get something that both Jacob and I both liked. So I feel like a white car is a little bit more on like the it's it's classy but it's more on like the girl side in my opinion so i feel like a, a classic black oh, i'm i'm saying too much sorry guys i'm just doing that if the price is right we're driving out with that car in the next two hours by the way man shout out to god because god has really blessed us enough for us to be even like considering getting a car this expensive and also you guys man shout out to you guys thank you so much for supporting us for supporting me for supporting valentina individually for supporting us together in our marriage our relationship yes. you guys have some of you guys have been there from the very beginning yeah. man just yeah. straight up supporting us watching us dropping likes subscribing commenting like I, I see a lot of you guys comment on every single video and i'm like man like it really is crazy how, how how much you guys really support us and trust me it's gonna go back to you bro because yes. the same way that you support other people when it comes to time for people to support you it's gonna happen because you put in that energy out it's gonna come back yes to you. exactly i agree yeah i was gonna give a thank you speech later on in the video but because <laughs> right now to. yeah right now it's just kind of like oh we're gonna get the, it the pastor and he's coming out baby. <laughs> Later. It's yours. I don't believe it. Babe. Not the Lamborghinis. Ex excuse that junk. No, yeah, the excuse those two pieces of junk. That beautiful one back there, <laughs> though. <laughs> that beautiful one back there is yours, babe. Yeah, because it's a nice car. <laughs> like I mentioned, guys, I always really wanted an SUV, but it, it's, it makes more sense now because this is gonna turn into a family car eventually. So like, we're thinking about like, we thought about okay, let's get something with more space. Like, we're gonna have our kids there one day. Yeah. Because guys, we're, we're planning on keeping this car for a while, like for a while, while. Our kids are going to be in the back seat like, wait, wait. But now <laughs> we're going to enjoy it. Guys, I'm literally on. I'm on the phone with Jacob because he's he's driving his car. But I'm literally. Hello. I'm literally looking. Um, the text messages from my family group chat. Um, it's my parents, my sister, Jacob, and I. And right now we're stuck in traffic, so I was looking at it. And my parents just told me that today is their 24th wedding anniversary, and I literally got a card today. It's just like I'm literally so. This is so crazy. Like. Oh, I didn't know it was their anniversary and so I just read it and like my sister's also That's a competition crazy. My sister is also a competition right now and her team won my parents anniversary is today There's just so many good things and I'm just so grateful <laughs> I'm so grateful oh, don't cry. I wanted to see you cry, bro. This is so crazy. I'm literally so grateful God is just so good man. Oh. He's so so good like never in a million years would i have ever thought that my first car was gonna be a mercedes-benz like what like my parents literally and a 2024. and a 2024 my parents literally came to the u.s with nothing in their pockets and they worked so hard to provide for my sister and i and it's just so crazy it's literally so crazy that i'm able to do this and i'm able to like just like give back to my parents like you know get back to the community and just be able to say like you know thank you to them for helping me out and it's just <laughs> it's just so crazy i'm just so grateful like god is just so good <laughs> he really is man wow today's really great guys my parents anniversary my sister's team won i got a new car my first ever car and <laughs> and it's snowing in Houston guys. It hasn't snowed in Houston in like three four years like this is crazy Like God is just like He's just in these moments like I'm just like wow like thank you like God is just so real like Wow, this is so crazy guys. It's so unbelievable, but Okay, let me let me keep driving because the traffic isn't there no more So I'll catch you guys back later. I'm probably gonna still be crying. Hello you guys so as you guys can see, there was a lot of tears, a lot of happiness, and now 
It is the next day. We are in the car eating our first meal for the very first time. Ah! This in feels unreal, guys. I know, this is crazy. It's Even crazy. going through the drive through in this car was like a whole different experience because in this, I just feel like fancy. Like, I feel like the guy in the drive through was kind of looking in inside the car and he was like, <laughs> and I was just there, like, it's not mine. We did say that we wanted to give you guys all the details, the pricing, all the juicy juiciness. We do want to be transparent with you guys. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys might want maybe this car for the future for yourselves. Or maybe you're looking to get a car right now. So we're going to be mm -hmm. fully transparent after everything. Taxes and everything. Yeah. It was like like 70,800 something. So let's round it up to 71,000. So it was $71,000. This is a brand new. Well, no, not brand new. Actually, a person owned this car for three months prior to us getting it. And then after the three months, they said, just kidding. And then they traded in for a G-Wagon. So good for them and good for us because we literally got the car that I really wanted. And the interior and everything was really perfect. So mm -hmm. Because it's a pre-owned car, the price dropped by like 12000 Like after taxes and everything. Because this car initially without like all like the other details, it's supposed to be like flat like what? Like 80 something? Almost 79. So yeah, And guys. that's before the taxes, before all the fees. So, so yeah, exactly. That's not the walkout price. I had a walkout price. <laughs> <laughs> you learned something, okay. Uh, yeah, guys, if I didn't have Jayco, I, would be, I wouldn't have gotten in this car. Like, I don't know anything about cars. I don't know how to speak about cars. <laughs> I don't know anything. I would have been like, I like this one. Give it to me. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. You would have gotten scammed. <laughs> Literally. No, I really believe I would have. Down payment, which is something that you guys are probably wondering. I initially wanted to put down 10. I told Jayco, I was like, I want to put down 10. But when we were there, he was like, babe, I think you should put down 20. You know, he's the head of the house. He is my husband. I do listen to his to his advice because at the end of the day, you know, he is the leader of our home and he knows better about <coughs> saving money, what's best for us as a family. So he ended up saying that 20,000 was better so our monthly payments could be less. Cause yeah, there were it was a lot. Like it was kind of hitting like twenty. I mean, two thousand dollars per month. With ten thousand dollar payment, the monthly payments would have been at around a thousand four hundred a month. Without insurance. And that's not including insurance, not including uh, gas money. So yeah. yeah, way too much. We yeah, I think it's a smarter decision to put more money down. That way your payments are less mm -hmm. and you're not stuck with like a fat monthly payment every month mm -hmm. so i put 20 down we got approved and then we got the car <laughs> it wasn't as easy as that. i was like if we waited like what well, actually it was only like an hour wait it wasn't even that long to be honest mm -mm. but we got it at a lamborghini dealership here in houston shout out to them the guy who helped us out was really nice saul saul it was his name saul if you're watching this thank you super helpful made everything like super smooth super nice and yeah, guys, um, what else can we tell them, baby? I think we should tell them, like, how it all came about. Because I feel like it mm. was all God. Like, it was all literally God. The deal Valentina got on this car was straight up favor from God, man. Because this car shouldn't have been worth that much. Because this car was custom built by a lady mm -hmm. from Louisiana who, three months into owning it, decided that she wanted to upgrade into a G-Wagon. So she ended up driving all the way to Houston, traded in this car, fully specced out, fully customized for her G-Wagon, and dipped back to Louisiana. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And then there comes Valentina looking for a car. I ended up finding this one on Car Gurus, And I love that app for finding cars because it tells you right there whether it's a good deal or not. It's not sponsored, by the way, guys. Like, we're just, he's just being really genuine. So this one ended up having every single thing that Valentina wanted. The moon roof, the LED lights everywhere. The interior on this car is specific for a 2024, meaning that other years before don't have this interior color, which is super dope. And we wouldn't have it unless, you know, that lady specked it out with this interior, literally. which is, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it was, it was literally all God. And the biggest thing that I'm like, man, God is so good, is that two, three days before we got this car, we went to the Mercedes dealership, right? And over there, we ended up looking at a bunch of Mercedeses, but they were all missing little things that that just wasn't, it didn't feel like worth the price tag. Yeah. This one is the same exact price as a 2023 that they were trying to sell us at Mercedes. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind, that one was a 2023 with the same price as this one. That's a 2024. And 
it was like missing a couple things that that we didn't like mm -hmm. like it didn't have wireless apple carplay it didn't have like all these other little things that it was a 2023 not a 2024 yeah which i didn't really care about but then to, you know having a husband is really helpful because he was explaining how like if we want to eventually sell the car for whatever reason it's better to have a 2024 than a 2023 especially and, if there's the same price yeah and then like when he found because at this point when we were at the other dealership like jake already knew that this car was at the other dealership so he was like, you know what, we're going to come into this dealership, get, you know, information, but I still want to go see this one. I was like, no, babe, like, we should just get one here, because I just really wanted a car, guys. This is my first ever car, like I explained earlier. So I got a little bit impatient, but man, I'm grateful that we waited, because God knew. God yeah. really knew. And guys, like, trust me, whenever you're looking for things, make sure to explore your options, bro. Like, if you're having a quinceañera, explore your options on, like, what banquet hall you want to, like, Weddings, host it at. Venue, Weddings, yeah, explore your options on venues. Always, always, always explore your options. Do not make decisions off of emotions because <laughs> Valentina tends to do that a lot. <laughs> I don't. We're completely opposites in that sense. Which is so good. Yeah, we balance each other out perfectly because sometimes, you, you know, you have to, like, stop thinking about numbers so much and stop being so logical and just jump into things because that's what happened to us with Peluche. You know, I wanted to explore my options, which I feel bad saying now <laughs> because he's literally like our son. Yeah. Valentina was like, no, babe, like, he's the one. Like, we're in love with him. Why I just, are we like, not going to get him? I felt it. I really did. I didn't mm -hmm. feel that with the cars at the other dealership, though, babe. Like, uh -huh. we both really liked it. We really both liked the cars, but there was just something off, like, the car play. Then there was another GLE, but in black. That we had seen that it didn't have the the panoramic sunroof. It was only it didn't have like, it all the way. It was only a little bit of it like was right like here. Small. So it was just a little thing that we had to compromise if we would have gone a car there. So I didn't fall in love with them. So I knew that Jacob was right. I was like, man, we're gonna have to wait a few days to go to the other dealership. Yeah. And we fell in love with this one, and I knew this was the one. But don't leave out that you were telling me like, no, baby, it's all gonna be just a waste of time. Let's just stay here and get a car here. Oh yeah, guys, because the dealership we got this one at is way further. It's like, like, an, like hour an hour away, away. from mm -hmm, an hour away from where we live. So I was like, no, we're going to have to drive so far. But I told Valentina, I was like, no, babe. Look, we, we still have time. Let's take time to pray a little bit more about it. Let's go see that other option that we have. If it's good, we get it. If it's not, we come back and we get one of the options here. It's simple as that. But always, always, always explore your options. That's a big, 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 big uh, advice I can give you guys. Yeah. Also, guys, whenever you go and buy a car, make sure you go with, like, make sure, number one, make sure you don't show interest, like, don't get overly excited over the car in front of like the agents that are helping you because like the moment that they see like oh like she's in love with this car they're gonna take advantage of that bro like they're gonna take advantage of that they're gonna not negotiate with you as much they're not gonna drop the price as much like best thing you can do is complain about the littlest things like literally be like ah oh, i don't like this though because that's what i was doing and valentina was like like low-key like side i mean like babe stop being so picky but that's how you gotta be you feel me like if you want to negotiate you gotta make them feel like oh, okay well he doesn't like a lot of these things so i gotta like drop the price a little bit to make it worth his you know to make it worthwhile i knew i had to like you know i knew i watched videos before i knew i couldn't show a lot of interest but like the excitement of getting my first car <laughs> i didn't really show it i probably did good mm -hmm, you did really i good. did really good i just let him do the talking he was in a, he was like talking about prices um specs like the year da, 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 like warranty insurance like everything and i was just there like mm-hmm <laughs> so yeah. if you can go with somebody that that knows more about cars that's definitely a better that. Yeah. option to do because and then you'll learn you'll learn from them because like, now i'm an expert <laughs> yeah yeah literally like yeah just I go with somebody know. that knows your mm -hmm. parents your a friend somebody that knows and just learn off of their like what they're doing just take notes take mental notes yeah i learned a lot that day also guys another piece of advice do not go for a new car, bro. Mm. Do not go for a new car. Like, I feel like only time it's valid to go for a new car if it's, like, if you're a millionaire. Like, if you have, like, just money to just throw around, then fine, you know. Like, go for a new car. You have more money than what you can, you know, spend. So, if you're, like, trying to save money, trying to stack up your money, like, don't go for a new car, bro. It's such a waste of money. Like, like we mentioned before, this car, brand new, would have been $12,000 more. 
and right now it only has 5,000 miles so it's literally still brand, brand freaking new yeah. and because it has 5,000 miles we ended up saving $12,000 that's that's a freaking steal that's crazy that is really <clears throat> crazy yeah so do not go for a new car always look for this is the key word that you need to look for guys go into the dealership and ask if they have loaners a loaner yeah. car is a car let's say let's say this car breaks down right and we take it into mercedes we're gonna let us borrow a car until the, until this one is ready for us mm -hmm. so that car that they let us borrow is called a loaner car those loaner cars are used by the company to just you know like give out to their clients while their cars that they own are getting serviced mm -hmm. so whenever it comes to a certain time where they already want to get rid of that car because maybe it's hitting too many miles or something so usually they stop it at around 7,000 miles or 10,000 miles, sometimes even less. Already because they use the, the car, the price is going to drop significantly without even the car having an owner before. So it's technically still a brand new car. Yeah. It just has a little bit of miles on it because it was used by the dealership. Mm -hmm. So that's the key word. If you guys are looking for a car of the year, look for a loaner car. Loaner car. Loaner car, yeah. That's something that we learned recently. Yeah, because I didn't know, even know that was a thing. I just know like pre-owned cars and like mm -hmm, a brand yeah. new car. But then the third option is a loaner car, which is literally what people um, gravitate towards the most. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I learned so much, guys. Like, ask me questions. Go. Uh -huh. What's uh, what's financing a car mean? Financing is like you, you like, you're not going to put all the money down. Like you have to like put some money down, but then you finance the rest. So you pay a thousand dollars a month or however much money depending on what how much you put down more 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 <laughs> wait did you tell them how much our monthly payment is without insurance without anything else right just like the monthly the payment car. for the car it is 720 something dollars which is isn't too bad because like the other payments if we didn't put as much as we did mm -hmm. it would have been like a thousand three hundred a thousand four hundred thousand nine hundred yeah if you would have put down ten thousand the payment would have been a thousand four hundred around there without insurance so yeah so that ties into the next piece of advice that we can give you which is save up money for the down payment you have to you have to it's it's just it's better for you to be tied down to a smaller uh, monthly payment than a bigger one because you know you never know you never know you never know what could happen in the future you get me and then you're struggling to pay that fat monthly payment so just stack up your money while you can save up mm -hmm. and then put put down a fat down payment yeah I, I think that's what i did with my camaro and then that's what valentina did with this one so save 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 all right guys so we already gave you all the details and all the pricing and everything but let's do what's most important and i wanted just to give you guys a really big thanks from the bottom of my heart if you guys know from earlier i said that this is literally my first ever car i've never owned a car in my life i had my license when i was 21 like i did things pretty late in life but this is just to prove to you guys that anything you want to achieve or want to accomplish is possible literally i never thought i was ever going to drive a car in my life because of the traumatic accident i had when i was little and i thought i was never going to even be able to afford a car like this so i just want to firstly thank god obviously but then secondly uh, thank you guys because if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't have a lot of the things that we have we wouldn't be having a lot of love and support from you guys and all across all our platforms i literally made this youtube channel back when i was in high school and i'm now getting it back started so this is just a lot of good things this year but i just can't express my gratitude enough i really love and appreciate you guys so so much and i know you guys know that from whenever we meet you guys and i just want to hug and cry and, and like be happy with you guys so this is a really great accomplishment for me and this is something that i always wanted to do and i'm happy that i got to do it with you guys watching and with my husband on my side just helping me out in every way possible supporting me and yeah right now this is gonna be my car but eventually guys you're gonna see some babies in the back yep, this is literally crying. gonna be <laughs> you guys are going to see vlogs like this and babies <coughs> in the back because yeah. this is eventually going to be our family car i know jacob wants to trade in his car eventually but this car specifically will be our family car stay tuned guys because the next video that i'm posting is me surprising my friends and family with this car 
the reaction was we already have a yeah. couple of reactions that we filmed already and they were good yeah they were really good it's funny it's it's really really awesome but yeah i'm gonna be posting way more videos like this i know i'm gonna be focusing on the podcast but i will be posting more vlogs more content about girly stuff advice girl talk mental health god anything you want so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for being on this journey with me and it's only up from here and i'm very very grateful Oh, I don't want to cry anymore. Who did? God did. <coughs> I feel like God crying is good, again. man. God is good. This is crazy. Babe, God just blesses us without holding back for real. I didn't think I was going to cry because I already cried. But I feel like it hasn't hit me yet. Like, this is my car. Yes. Guys, I literally woke up this morning and I literally was like, oh my gosh, I have a it car. It felt unreal, huh? Because, <laughs> like, I never owned a car. Like, even when I had my license and at 21, like, I was using my parents' car when they would get back from work. So, like, go get my nails done, go to the gym, but I never owned a car. So, the fact that I can say that this is my first ever car and it's a Mercedes of the year. Like, man, like, God is just so good. Like, it's God just is good. crazy. I feel like I'm going to wake up. Just be patient, too, guys. Be patient. Yeah. Trust God's timing. You know, different people have different timings. Everybody has their own path. Just trust the path that God has put you on and just stick next to God, man. God will lead you. God will make your crooked path straight and he will lead you the way that he wants you to go in. We're just grateful. We're, we're super grateful to God. I love that you said that because on my broadcast channel, I've spoken to them about how like to not feel rushed by society because society will tell you, you have to have your degree by this age, you have to be married by this age, have kids by this age, have a house by this age. And I told them, I'm like, don't, I don't, I don't ever let anybody tell you to rush you to make you feel like you need to have something by a certain age because I'm 24 and I barely, I'm getting my first car now. Yeah, it's a Mercedes and I'm very grateful. But, I mean, I still waited super long to get my first car. I got my license at 21. So, everybody's past is different. Literally, every single one. You can't compare yourself. If you see something online, yeah. do not compare yourself to anybody. You really don't know what anybody is going through. And you, we have different lives. So, yeah, I like that you said that because I literally told them in my broadcast channel. Yeah, the other and day. I was telling Valentina before we got the car, I was like, man, like more than anything, I'm just grateful for the peace that God has brought into our lives because we, you can have a Lamborghini Urus. Because I was telling her that because we were at the Lamborghini <laughs> yeah. dealership. And I was like, babe, like you can literally have a Lamborghini Urus and still have no peace in your heart and have like, you know, just have like that feeling of not having peace of sadness emptiness. depression yeah emptiness Anxiety. having a, uh, a, an expensive car literally doesn't change anything bro mm -hmm. like it, it does not like maybe you can have a little rush when you first get yeah. it and everything but bro that goes away quickly trust me so nothing compares to having the peace that jesus christ gives gives us and yeah i was telling her i was like man i'd much rather live in a beat-up car I mean, in a beat up house in a, with a beat up car and have Jesus and have peace, then have like a rich life and not know Jesus and not have any peace. A thousand percent. I could never agree more. It's true, guys. Like, why do you guys think that this all became a car talk? <laughs> I really want to leave this all on. <coughs> Y'all make sure to tune in to Valentina's podcast, by the way. I'm going to be on there. And Valentina is going to be on my car talks. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, y'all make sure to tune in on that for more deep conversations. I know this is not for everybody, but the people that enjoy these, make sure to tune in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all I was going to say is that there's so many, like, big actors, like, anybody that is, like, rich and famous that have taken their own lives. So, it just goes to prove to you guys, it goes to show you guys that having all these things is not going to make you happy. I really don't feel like money can buy happiness. It can buy temporary happiness. Moment. It can buy happy. assurance, like, you know, it can buy you a house to live, um, a car to, you know, take you places, but I don't think it will buy you, like, like actual, like, inner happiness. But, yeah, guys, this is, they literally turned into my podcast and Jacob's car talk. <laughs> <laughs> For real, combined. For real. But, okay, that's it. I'm sorry, I'm getting all gushy bushy, looey gooey. Gushy bushy mushy lushy. <laughs> but I just, I'm so grateful. I really, really am, <coughs> guys. If I could hug. <coughs> oh. I want to show them the interior one more time, guys. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all the inside one more time because it looks so freaking sexy at night. It's actually unreal. Oh Look my at this, guys. <laughs> this is insane. It has them in the back too. Look at that. Wow. And they're bright, guys. Like yeah. you have some bright LEDs. You can turn the brightness down too, so it's not too bright. 
but we like it like this. And I love pink guys, so this is literally gonna stay like this forever. <laughs> Jacob can switch it whenever he gets in the car, but I love pink. I'm a pink girl. Pink girl. Pink girly. And man, I'm gonna say one more thing. I know I be pastoring too much, preaching too much, but I can't hold back. Guys, there's this Bible verse that I love that says, but what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? It doesn't profit him at all. Like. That's the thing, guys, that you guys can focus on, you know, getting the car, getting the house, getting the luxury life that you want. But if in the process of doing that, you lost your soul because you took your focus away from God, away from Jesus Christ, you lost your soul. And this life is going to vanish, man. This life is nothing but the Bible says it's like a mist. Yeah. It, it's gone just like the wind. There's nothing compared to eternity. You have to make sure you secure your eternity in heaven by putting your trust in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that whoever believes in him and shall not perish, but have, have everlasting life. life in heaven. Amen. So That's put good, your baby. trust on Jesus, guys. God bless y'all, man. Thank you, thank you for <laughs> blessing my wife with something like this the and sunset. supporting her. It's so beautiful, huh? Wow, I love sunsets, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> It's God, baby, it's God. And I was telling my Latina that the day that she got the car, it started hailing. And I was like, babe, that's like the confetti version of like... It hurts. It's like it's like nature's confetti. Like God is throwing a party for you. I was telling her and she started crying. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and now look, a sunset in the back because God knows we love him. <laughs> love you guys. God bless y'all. And don't forget who did. <laughs>